Hello, my name is Marcus Dides. This online gym induction video will provide you with information to help get the most from the facilities at the Centre for Sport and Recreation. We will cover membership and how to access the conditioning suite. We will give you an induction to some of our popular cardiovascular and resistance machines, free weights and cover basic gym etiquette. And of course there is fire safety. The sports centre is on three floors. On level two, we have our main reception, the activities room, our administration offices, and the changing facilities for you to prepare and get changed. On level one, we have our weight training rooms and squash courts. On level three, we have the sports hall, conditioning suite, and lecture room. The swimming pool and another sports hall is situated across the road in the Royal College building. It is easy to join the sports center. Visit our website, Click on the membership link and complete your application form. Your membership card will normally be available for collection at the Sports Centre reception the following working day. It is important to make sure you bring your photographic ID when collecting your membership card. After that, you need to exchange your membership card for a FOB if you want to access the conditioning suite. Please ensure you return the FOB to reception when you have finished your workout and before using the changing and shower facility. The conditioning suite contains 60 pieces of cardiovascular machines, 20 single station resistance machines, and a wide selection of free weights and Olympic lifting platforms. We have 12 exercise bikes, which allow great cardiovascular exercise with minimal impact to your joints. Before using your bike, make sure you adjust the seat height correctly. This is approximately level with your hip. To begin your workout, start to pedal and the display screen will light up automatically and show the options available. Press the green quick start button or select a preset program to begin your workout. We have 24 treadmills which offer another cardiovascular workout. Before you start your workout, the safety clip must be attached to your clothing. So if you trip and fall, the clip will pull away from the machine and it will stop automatically. Step onto the tread belt. To begin your workout, press the green quick start button. Be careful as the tread belt will move slowly. Once you're comfortable, you can let go of the size and increase the speed. When running at higher speeds, try to avoid holding on. If you need to stop quickly for any reason, press the red stop button. We have 11 cross trainers. This is a great cardiovascular exercise with minimal impact on your joints. Step carefully onto the lowest pedal of the cross trainer taking hold of the handles before placing your other foot on the second pedal. To activate the display screen, begin to move the pedals forward. Press the green quick start button or select a preset program to begin your workout. Then when you finish your workout, take your foot off the highest pedal first, being aware not to catch your leg on the other pedal. We have eight rowing machines, which are ideal for a whole body workout. Before you get on the row machine, you will need to adjust the resistance level. Depending on your experience and strength, choose level one, which is the lowest setting, and level 10 is the highest. To simulate rowing on water, select the level between three and five. Sit in the seat and place your feet in the footholds and tighten the straps. To begin, Take hold of the handlebar and sit in an upright seated position. For more information about rowing technique, take a look at the display screen where you can see some animations. We now move on to the single station resistance machines. These tone and improve muscular strength. Make sure you adjust all the levers before you begin your workout, so the machine is set up correctly to suit your height. To adjust the weight, use the selector pin and you're ready to begin. The most important thing to remember on these machines 
is not to lock out your joints as you perform the movements. There are diagrams on all the machines, but please ask a member of staff if you're still unsure of any of these pieces of equipment. We also have a wide selection of free weights, dumbbells, barbells, as well as different Olympic lifting bars and a range of weighted plates. When using the Olympic lifting bars, make sure you secure the plates with a clip. Please put the weights back after you have used them and avoid dropping them to the floor. When using the heavier weights, please remember to always have someone with you to assist and keep you safe in the gym. We have an area of exercise mats where you can stretch and perform any core exercises. Although this area should not be used for free weights and no equipment should be used on these mats. To ensure a safe exercise environment, please follow the Center for Sport and Recreation Code of Conduct. This can be found on the notice board and in the condition suite at our website. We also supply sanitizer and paper towels, which are located around the condition suite and free weights area. Please wipe down each piece of kit after you've used it, ensuring it's clean for the next user. There are four fire exits in the conditioning suite and two in the free weights room. Fire testing is every Monday at 10 a.m. If you hear an alarm at any other time, please make your way to the nearest fire exit immediately. The fire meeting point is the University Center grass area, opposite the main entrance to the sports center. Wait at the fire meeting point until further instruction from the fire safety officer. Thank you for watching, your induction is nearly complete. Don't forget that in addition to the gym, we offer gym programming, health and fitness assessments, and a wide range of activities, including exercise classes. For further information about other health and fitness services, please visit our webpage.